friends it's Serena from the Falco family where homeschool is life and having a teachable spirit is our number one goal you guys that's my new like line <laughs> did I say it right <laughs> You guys, I am getting ready to start my homeschool day. Actually, the homeschool day has already started. I'm feeling good. Um, today I got up early. Um, I got myself dressed. I read a little bit. Um, spent some quiet time before the kids got up, which almost never happens. And um, the kids are currently doing their morning work. They chose writing, so they're writing stories and they're also watching a little Blue Planet on Netflix. Um, I'm getting ready to interrupt them in probably 2.5 seconds or 5.5 minutes, I don't know. <laughs> so that we can put our shoes on and our coats on and head out on our morning walk. But um, I just had a little bit of something on my heart that I thought I would pop in and just chat with you guys for a minute before I move on and I know this one is going to be kind of quick because I have to move on to the rest of my homeschool day but um you know I'm trying to make efforts and things to be consistent um, with my social presence and I don't like the way that sounds but it's the best way I can describe it but um just because I just um for 2019, I'm going to do a whole video on it, but um, my word for the year, which, you know, I really thought about it for a while, and I, I'll explain it in detail later, is um, confident. And it doesn't really mean I want to have confidence in myself, um, but I want to have confidence in myself as a byproduct of having confidence in the goodness of God. So that's my whole thing. Um, as a part of that, I want to learn how to be consistent and that includes my social spaces so i was getting ready to go and post a little something on instagram which is always hard for me because instagram is very overwhelming for me um i like a slower pace which is why i like youtube um i feel like it gives me space to be um to slow things down a bit and do my thing without feeling like i have to be in the rat race and instagram doesn't do that for me um definitely makes me feel um anxious feelings and i don't like it but um i am trying to just show up to just um share whatever god has given me on my heart or just little pictures of the kids and i and stuff like that so i was gonna do that and um I went to go and write up something and possibly tag my post with um, hashtag homeschool mom. And I don't like using hashtags. Um, before it was, in the beginning of Instagram, it was really nice because you could find other people that were on similar journeys. Now it's just become a flood of a lot of things that is not good for me and my personality and my heart. So I'm trying to work my way through that, as always. But, um... I get this question quite a lot. It has to do with starting homeschool and having like a blog presence or a YouTube channel or um, even an Instagram. Okay, I'm saying this with all the love in my heart. I don't normally respond to those emails um, because I just, I hadn't felt what the right thing to say would be. But I, I just want to say, I see a lot of people that are in their first year or second year of homeschool that are being asked a lot of questions about their decision and things like that and I get that um, the you know Instagram makes it very easy for people to see what you're doing and ask questions um, and in so many ways that's really nice but in so many ways it's really not good because just because people are asking us questions um, or would like some advice, it doesn't mean that we're in a place to give it. And the thing about it is, like, I'm in my sixth year of homeschooling. I have found a groove and a rhythm and a confidence. She said you're on the internet. So the kids are keeping me accountable for making sure that I'm not doing other work while um, I'm supposed to be doing school time. This is okay because um, they're finishing that up and then we're getting ready to head on the walk. So, let me keep it quick. <laughs> if anytime you need some accountability and you have kids over five years old, 
tell them what you're trying to do. They'll keep you in line. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so um, I'm in my sixth, um, six and a half ish year of homeschool and I have a pretty strong foundation in it and a lot of confidence, a decent amount of confidence in it. But you guys, it's taken me a while to get here. When I started homeschooling, I was so unsure of exactly what I was doing that I just kind of wanted to lay low and gather as much information as I could to try to figure out, you know, what I was doing. Um, and I think that I see too many people that are starting their homeschool journey and they want to um, share or give advice too much too soon. And the problem with that the reason why I'm saying this, not to knock you for wanting to share, but there's a certain level, there, there's a certain space where you need to protect your journey. You need to guard your heart and protect your journey. And you really can't do that if you put yourself in a place um, where you're giving advice on homeschool or you're putting out lots of tips and things on homeschool. It's just not wise. And it's not wise because there's so many ups and downs and different pieces of homeschooling. You have to take into account your kids' personalities, your financial situation, your situation um, as far as your relationship with your spouse, uh, what your homeschool style, what your needs are. There's just so many things there to try to uncover and figure out that you really ruin that opportunity to learn about what your actual needs are in homeschool if you set yourself up to expend a lot of energy giving out advice about it does that make any sense and i see a lot of people doing that and i never want to keep anybody from documenting their journey because i'm all for that I'm all for that and I did that. But I definitely did it from a place of, this is what happened today, this is what I learned today. Um, it took me a very long time and I'm still moving at a very slow pace answering, and it makes me feel very uncomfortable a lot of times, answering people's questions about homeschool. Cause there's just, it's not a cut and dry thing. There's so many variables involved and, um, and I think there's a lot more at stake here and that's why I wanted to get on and kind of randomly chat about it because if I'm making wrong decisions in business, maybe my business might flop. But if we make unwise decisions, um, things that we can control in homeschool, there's a lot more at stake. Like, Homeschooling is about your family unit and your children. And unfortunately, we are allowing our own insecurities or needs for success or whatever it is, which I believe are good intentions in the beginning. But like, don't be deceived. Um, guard your heart when it comes to homeschooling and the decisions that you're making in homeschooling for your family and for your kids because it could be so detrimental to your homeschool journey for you um to expend your energies in places that's not that's not worth it does that make sense and i say that because i know how vulnerable i was when i started and um, I don't know, I, one of my very first videos was talking about how to handle negativity. And one of the things I said in that video was I don't have, I didn't have a lot of negativity and I still don't have a lot of negativity, negativity. But it's mainly because I didn't, I didn't allow certain things to have any room or space in the growth of my homeschool in those years. Because I realized how sensitive of a place it was for me. And I feel like that's one of the best things that I did. It's not that I didn't allow it because I was so strong in it. It's just that I recognized it was an area of potential weakness. And I didn't give any other, you know, people or spaces the energy to kind of destroy that for me in the very beginning. 
I'm not trying to deter you from, you know, blogging or answering people's questions or having homeschool Instagrams and things like that. But, you know, there's so I see so much of, you know, what it looks like on the outside, but I know so much about what it feels like and what it is like on the inside of our days. And we're doing our babies a disservice we're doing ourselves a disservice in our homeschooling journey if you set yourself up to um give a lot of advice and share a lot of things too prematurely it was a very long time before i shared a schedule um or a long time i think this year was the first time i shared like my actual you know one good piece of advice um in that manner um I still haven't done a, you know, how to start video. Um, I think that I'm getting to the point where I could probably give some good sound advice based on the things that, you know, I did wrong. Um, so I just, I see it a lot. I was, like I said, looking on Instagram and seeing how many accounts there are and how many people are doing videos on their homeschool journey and they're just in their first and second year and you have toddlers. Like, and with all the love in my heart, I really hope this doesn't sound bad, but homeschooling with a preschooler and earlier on is really nothing it should be nothing but a load of fun um a load of fun and just being in awe of your child and their um, brains and the things that they put together and just spending quality time getting to know them and ask them questions i think we have to steer clear of all of the prepared activities i know they look super cute and they're an awesome addition to your days from time to time. But I really do believe that they can take away from that opportunity to learn of your child and their natural abilities to learn and to grow and for you guys to grow together. So, um, and I, I, mm, I hesitated to say that because I, I'm not saying don't buy preschool curriculum. I'm not saying, you know, that type of thing, but just don't get caught up in it. Don't get wrapped up in it. And um, I just, something in my heart makes me feel like so many of us are doing that and are allowing that. And I think that the time that I started homeschool before, there was so much of a flood on Pinterest and Instagram was a blessing for me because I didn't have as much... Um, distraction in that area but now that we do i feel like people that are in you know at least four or five years into homeschool it's the best thing that we can do to tell the people that are beginning like just you know really steer clear of that um try your best to stay away from that um need to have so much prepared for your preschooler you're missing out on opportunities to learn of them and how they learn and how you learn together um so i'm not saying no don't start a youtube or no don't start an instagram before i started youtube i was making tons of videos that no one ever saw i'm just saying give yourself some space to create a foundation before you start to share advice and tips and things like that and i know it's really hard because people ask all those questions they want to know um what you're doing and how you're doing it and that's why it takes me actually i thank god because it really wasn't just wisdom serena wisdom um i really feel like it was the lord you know, because I, I, I wanted to get all these videos out, but the way, the pace of my life, <laughs> I wasn't able to. And I really feel like that was God protecting me from opening myself up too soon uh, to the ways that we were doing things because I wasn't really sure about them and they would change tomorrow. Um, I'm not saying that things don't change in homeschool, but they shouldn't change super frequently. Um you should be able to find a rhythm and sit in that space and slow things down and take notes and enjoy. Those are things you should be able to do. I'm not saying don't start the Instagram or don't start the YouTube channel. I'm just saying use 
wisdom and pay attention to what your heart is telling you if it's telling you that you you know you haven't figured things out yet then you may not want to do that yet you can still take pictures tons of pictures and tons of video but you don't have to share them <laughs> if you guys only knew how much video footage or how many pictures or how many journal entries um, in homeschool about the kids and our journey and stuff that I don't share it's because I'm learning and I think you need to give yourself space to learn about this homeschool life before you present yourself um, and answer a bunch of people's questions because people are demanding and they will ask more and more and more of you and you will pour out into them so much so that you don't have as much or nearly anything to pour out into your home and your family and your kids and your homeschool. So the only reason I chose to put this up was because I feel so strongly about it being a disadvantage to our children then second a disadvantage to you and the joy and the peace and the pleasure and excitement that you can get out of homeschool okay so I'm not gonna ramble that was it <laughs> I really hope you could hear what my heart is saying in this yeah and I will see you in the next video like comment subscribe consider joining our patron fam if you want um, real homeschool accountability um i'm not doing a whole bunch of extra things over there patron just is really a space where they're loving on me and supporting me and i'm loving on them and supporting them right back and it gives me space to do more frequent um videos here on youtube uh so yeah i will see you guys in the next video